Hi, uh, so for this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to hook the Google Analytics into your website, new WordPress site. So the first thing you need to do is uh, create a Google Analytics account, and then uh, point it to your website. For instance, you're already done uh, adding, uh, creating the Google Analytics. So all you need to do is uh, go to your account on the admin. And then go to the property that you created for the Google Analytics. Then uh, go to the tracking information. This track info and go to track code. So it will reveal you your, your your tracking ID. So we're gonna all we need to do is we're gonna copy this tracking ID, then paste it into the plugin settings. Okay. So this time we're gonna install the plugin for the uh, Google Analytics. In WordPress, go to plugins, click add new. And then all you need to do is search analytics. Okay, so there are several options, uh, plugins uh, where we, which you can use. Uh, the most popular here is the the one from the monster insights but what i'm suggest you to use is the ga google analytics i think this one is straightforward and uh, easy to use so we're gonna install this plugin then click activate once you activate it go to the plugin settings and then uh, in this section where it says plugin settings, click it. Then you just have to leave the settings as it is. Then copy the tracking code from Google Analytics. Once you copy this, then just paste this code. Then click save. So that's it. It added the Google Analytics to your website. So to check this. Uh, we're going to inspect element this Google search analytics. So as you can see, it added the script to your WordPress site. So this is our ID. So that's all you need to hook your Google analytics to your WordPress site. So there's, for instance, you don't want to install a plugin. There's another way to install this directly to your WordPress theme. So I think that's more advanced compared to this method. So in the next in this next video, I can demonstrate how to use your WordPress theme and add the Google Analytics code. So so we're done for the first method. So thank you.